lifestyle expert, Christina Daves, is here with her spring cleaning hacks. I wonder what she's doing. Is that a sock? We'll mm -hmm. find out next. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Washington. Well, we are switching gears and talking spring cleaning with some really cool household hacks with Christina Daves, lifestyle expert. She's kind of my go-to. I was saying I was cleaning over the weekend and I wish that you had been here because you always have some really fun, neat hacks for us. I brought some fun. So we're going to start with, let me bring this over here, the Swiffer. Anything uh, like a Swiffer. Okay, yes. So you spray your glass cleaner. This is how you get, you know, all the houses now are nine, ten foot ceilings. Yeah. It's how you clean your windows up top. That's Sit on a, a step stool. And see, multi-purpose. And I actually towel. didn't even think, because you always think you have to have those, um, no, the ones that go with it. it right in here. Just a paper towel and yep. some Windex. Just Clean like that. Clean your high ceiling windows. This you need for everything. Vinegar. Vinegar. Vinegar will clean everything. I do the granite countertops with this. You can mix it one-on-one. -on -one. You can do glass with it. Vinegar. So you just put vinegar in water? That's yeah. what you mix it with? That's it. And a cloth and just wipe. You, they shine. They glisten. Do they? I just get it's the smell sometimes. Light a candle. Okay. <laughs> there you go. But it is like a good, and good clean. Your grandmother used newspaper? Newspaper and vinegar on windows. Really? This is the best thing ever. While they're still making newspaper, hoard it a little bit. <laughs> and you just put that on? Just put the vinegar right on. And do your windows? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. okay. I like I, it. Why not? Okay, another must have dryer sheets. And you said. My uh, grandmother yeah. told me this trick and I love that. So what do the, you do with your dryer sheets? Lots, so okay. put it in any trash can, especially okay. a kitchen one can get a little icky, but mm -hmm. it'll keep it smelling fresh. Okay. Um, you, once you've used them and they get, cause you know they've got some stuff on them. Yes. You can clean your baseboards with it. You can, your mirrors in your bathroom that get spots on them. Mm -hmm. It'll wipe the little water spots off. So this is, these are a must. And it, everything just it smells, smells yeah, good, right? but yeah, the baseboards, and trash cans. maybe it's mental, but I feel like whatever film from the dryer sheet, it like repels the dust. Yeah. So I don't have to do it quite right. as often. Right. So anyways, that's okay. great. I'm going to sneak over with you. Yes, come on over here. Okay. What are we going to talk about? So now, ceiling fans. So you, you oh. just climb up on your thing. I know, they yeah. get so gross. They do. But, and I just brought one, but use a pillowcase. So oh. that's how you get the dust off. And then just pull it out. And then the out. dust is in here. That's so brilliant because that? that's the worst when you're doing it and it's then like, it's like all falling I, in your... <laughs> brilliant. Awful, yeah. And then you can just toss this toss in, the washing, in the washing machine. machine. Okay. You need to clean your shower. Always. Just buy one of these. Just keep it in your shower and wipe it down. You can put that, whatever. And you could put a little bit of soap, soap in, in here. See, that's you awesome. normally do this with your kitchen. Put it in too. And that's a brilliant idea. Just keep it in keep the shower. It in and while you're in there, because there is nothing worse than having to do a bathroom. I can tell you that because I was doing all the bathrooms <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> okay, now we're going to be amazing. I love to clean with socks. So, and I love happy socks right here. Yes. Uh, you can dust your plants with them. <gasps> oh, yeah. Especially after a long winter. This I is great. I know. Uh, blinds. Okay. You can clean your blinds with it. Yeah. And you get dust on the wall sometimes. Yeah. So just put on some fun socks and clean. That's a great idea. And then just again, throw, throw those them. in the wash we'll at the end of the day that. and you are good to go. Yeah. All right. Do you use cast iron? Yes. Okay. It and is you, so hard to clean because you can't you use. You can't clean it. Yes. You're right. You can't use soap. So if it gets some gunk on it mm -hmm. while it's not hot but warm. Okay. Just take a little kosher salt, put uh -huh. it in. Just take a rag. This is not wet. Okay. And just use this, and you're gonna scrub. A dry, a dry yeah. rag. But then when you're done, just push, get all the gunk out, uh -huh. and then put it in your sink with water, and then dry, and you're done. Beautiful, love it. Yeah. And then last but not least, what else do you the have? The last must have, rubbing alcohol. Yes. So stainless steel, windows, glass, mirrors, anything. Stainless steel, you can use the olive oil too. Really? Yeah, and it gives it a really nice, a microfiber cloth. Uh-huh. But don't use your really good olive oil. It's expensive. Oh, so that's I actually a really good point. That, yeah, because I've got really good olive oil, and then you've got your you stuff know, that your you can use for cleaning. for cleaning. But you use olive oil or the or alcohol, alcohol mm -hmm. and, and just, just put it on and just rub. So what I also love is I feel like you're saving us money as well because then you're not buying all of these the extra cleaning products. You have a lot of this stuff already I, in your home. Yeah, you don't need you don't need to fill up on everything. So yeah, vinegar and alcohol. And the dryer sheets. And this. Must haves. Make sure you follow Christina Daves on all social media platforms. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll have more right after this.